Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and thank you for tuning in. How many folks in my audience use or know someone who uses apps like Tinder to date and or hook up? Well, some disturbing research was just published by Harvard University in the Journal of Eating Disorders this past April. Harvard researchers had set out to evaluate the association between the use of dating apps such as Tinder, Grindr, Coffee Meets Bagel, etc and unhealthy weight control behaviors with the intent to lose fat or change one's body shape among U.S. adults. The evaluated behaviors included vomiting, laxative use, fasting, diet pill use, anabolic steroid use, and muscle building supplement use, such as creatine, amino acids, DHEA, and HMB. The final sample size of this cross-sectional study was 1,726, of which 1,098 were female and 628 were male, according to the breakdown presented in Table 1 of the paper. All participants were aged between 18 and 65 years. Researchers controlled participants for age, income, sexual orientation, sex, ethnicity, marital status, height, weight, and BMI. What the researchers found was that anabolic steroid use was extremely common among folks who use dating apps, even the women. In fact, the women were about 13% more likely to take steroids than the men. However, the men showed a much higher prevalence of self-induced vomiting, use of laxatives, and use of diet pills than the women. And that was quite surprising to me. You see, I would have predicted steroid use to be higher among the men on dating apps and significantly lower among the women. Whereas I would have predicted the women on dating apps to be the ones who would have engaged in aggressive and uh, harmful fat loss strategies such as self-induced uh, vomiting, laxatives, and diet pills. So totally not what I'd expect at all. In any case, I'm just skimming over the results here. You can find the full study linked at my blog, uh, as usual, uh, where you can explore the data in detail at your leisure. Uh, and this includes breakdowns of behaviors, uh, those behaviors specifically by race, sexual orientation, income, age, etc. Now, I do want to clarify that while this data is shocking, it is correlative, not causative. In other words, just because someone uses a dating app doesn't mean that they will necessarily be sucked into this dark world of uh, unhealthy behaviors. Uh, nonetheless, it does demonstrate that there is at least a particular mentality uh, and behavioral pattern uh, that's common among users of these dating apps. But as the researchers stated, future studies are recommended to explore how and why the use of dating apps may contribute to such unhealthy behaviors. I mean, this certainly goes way beyond the typical deceptive use of old and or manipulated photos on dating profiles to attract interest. Which, on a side note, is something that I've never really uh, understood. I mean, the truth is going to come out sooner rather than later. After all, people uh, get on these apps with the intent to actually meet someone in person. And whoever you'd end up meeting uh, is sort of going to notice that, for example, you're 15 to 20 pounds heavier than you are in your profile photo, uh, or that you no longer have a full head of hair that you may have featured in your profile photo. Uh, deception isn't exactly a good first impression, know what I mean? Uh, anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already and press the bell button for notifications and check back here weekly. All three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. And check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links such as Amazon and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. And that includes an array of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen in my clients pictured here. No drugs, starvation, vomiting, or deception necessary. You can look good naturally from pictures to the streets to the sheets and everywhere in between and beyond. Uh, anyway, thank you all for your support and thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.